Well, a late one again, folks. I do apologise. There's just not enough hours in the day at the moment. I am sorry. Yes, cystic fibrosis. A horrible, horrible condition. Some would say a horrible disease. I would class it as a disease. I've had a little experience of the uh, the thing in my lifetime. Yeah, I don't know if any of you seen it this morning on the TV. I think it was on the breakfast uh, news on the beat there. Uh, they showed a little girl with a mum and dad. Uh, and the mother and father are talking about the... Um, upcoming, possibly upcoming, pulling of uh, the greatest medicine that's ever been invented for cystic fibrosis, that's ever been, not invented, you know what I mean, ever been made, ever been invented. That's not it really, but you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, they do a little piece on it and they're getting really upset there, and rightly so, because they've got a young um, kitty there who isn't well and they know isn't going to get a lot better in later life without this wonder drug. And anyway, as, as, it, as it goes off the piece, old Charlie says, Charlie says, it says, we're coming back to the subject at about ten past eight later. Anyway, he did. And they had another little girl in the uh, studio with, uh, with the mum and dad. Different family altogether. And they're talking about it. And CF, for those that don't know it, it's a, it's a lung disease. It's a disease that just attacks the lungs and makes it really, really hard to breathe. Uh, you're often um, drowning in your own... Whatever. Water, fluid, fluid. I think it's fluid. Uh, coughing's difficult, walking's difficult, running's almost impossible. Exercise is really, really hard, although you exercise to try and move things along. You're on the, is it the defibs or the, no, it's not defibrillators, that's for your heart. You know what I mean, you're on the machines all the time to help you breathe in and so on and so forth. And, it, and it's horrible. I say I've had experience, um, my cousin died of it when she was probably 11 or 12. It's that long ago now, I've forgotten. A lovely, lovely young girl. and lovely looking young girl as well not that looks me come into it at all but a lovely looking young girl and just a nice person Deb mischievous but really nice her brother has also had it he's recently had a, a lung transplant I think it's a double lung transplant I think oh, about five or six years ago and he's doing okay um, but unfortunately we lost um, my cousin Sandy many many years ago now um, I say she was really young at the time uh, and this drug I, believe, I read about it it came out about three or four years ago and this, uh, about two or three years ago, it's not that long, I don't think, and they were saying it's brilliant, it's a, just an absolute wonder drug. It almost sort of enables people, not just children, and people of any age, to, to virtually live a fantastic life for all they've still got the CF. It doesn't go away, the fibrosis, cystic fibrosis, but they can live with it, and they can also live till a very old age, because cystic fibrosis, the um, expected death rate was probably in the late teens, early 20s, many, many years ago, and then it up to the 30s and 40, really. I think when you got to 40, you'd done really, really well. Some are surviving longer than that now, and one of the big operations to be able to survive is the lung transplant, which, as I say, me and the other cousins had, which was her brother. Uh, they, were, they were a family of four children. Two of them didn't have cystic fibrosis, two of them did. And of the two, I say, one, one we lost and one is still with us. Um, it's a bit of a waste of space, but he's still with us. We lost the better one, some might say. I shouldn't say that, but it's how I feel at the moment. But anyway, um, not looking at losing anybody. Let's let's be let's be honest about that. A life's a life, and they're very precious. But no, cystic fibrosis is just a horrible disease. It really, really is. And this family was on there this morning, and they were saying, you, you know, it's awful. I, I, a young child is like two now. Um, at, at one time, it was only people that had cystic fibrosis really bad that could get the drug. And then I think it was limited to people of maybe 20 ish I think they said I might have that wrong I might have that wrong I know the figures one of the figures came up with was 12 she said the figure now is 12 you've got to be 12 until you have it she said but in only the last month we were told it's a month or two away from them dropping the age all the way to two which is what our daughter is now now even if it's 12 all being well we know we can get her to 12 and we know that there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel is it I think that's that that's the right analogy there but at the end of the rainbow tunnel we'll go tunnel um, so when she's 12 she'd be on it although there was a chance for two and anyway, the, the drug might be pulled now because the, the the board that look at drugs and how much they cost and how viable they are in society and how many people need them are looking into it and they said it's just much much too expensive and it really is extremely expensive I think the parents said for one year's treatment only for one year alone it's a hundred and sixty thousand pound which is obviously a fortune in money but then again and there's, there's not thousands and thousands of people in Britain with cystic fibrosis. But if they could probably get back all the money they lost on the PPI scandal and all the money they gave to people in the, the loans, you know the loans for 
you know you've got your own company and you're struggling during COVID and we'll give you 50 grand a pop, just hold your hand out and you'll get it. You can even create a company a week ago or two weeks ago. You can even make the names of companies up. You don't even have to trade. We'll give you as many 50 grand as you want. If they could get all that back, they'd probably have enough money there to run these drugs for Sissy Fibrous for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. It'd be of great comfort to the mother and father of these young children, I would have thought. But anyway, it, it's still in the consultation phase now. The, the, they heard they were going to pull it. Now they're talking about it, so it could go either way. Uh, but let's hope for those young kiddies and for everybody that's got cystic fibrosis that they carry on purchasing it on behalf of these people because it, it's needed like a can't tell you. As I say, I've had first-hand experience of people with cystic fibrosis and it's an awful thing to live with. It really, really is. And when you think you have it from birth and you can have it all your life. I mean, I think this father said, if they pull this drug now, I might as well tell my child, when it's time for university, don't bother because it's not worth it. Because if you get to 25, you'll do really well. Taking this drug, I can tell my child to go to university and try to be anything you want to be. Because there's no reason why you won't live to 60, 70 or 80. That is the difference. I think he quoted 45 years. It almost guarantees to put 45 years on your life, which is a long, long time, folks. It really is. So I hope as somebody has seen it within the family that... Um, they give them the drug and, and they carry on giving them the drug and you know regardless of, of what it costs but what you hope and what you get aren't always the same thing are they but may that went out today to those parents of those two little children and the little children but at this moment in time for all it's hard for the children living with the condition I think in many respects it's harder for the parents because they've got to cope with them 24 hours a day but more importantly they know the real harsh reality of uh, cystic fibrosis because they've been told by by the um, specialists, the children don't know it at this stage, they don't know they've got a short life expectancy and, and nothing's ever going to get any better for them. Um, so anyway, that was my thoughts on that. I know I've rambled unbelievably and shouldn't have done. I haven't wished one of my cousins to die really, but of the two, the one that did and himself, um, I think she might have turned out better than he has, but that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? Anyway, on that, I'll leave you. A bit serious there, wasn't it? No ranting and raving though. Didn't raise my voice, did I? No. No grumpiness in that one at all.